don't learn from your mistakes, you'll, you'll make more. First uh, venture for me was delivering newspapers. Uh, I delivered the uh, Williamson Daily News. Uh, started uh, with uh, helping my brother. I was 10, he was 12. And we had a paper route that uh, we rode bicycles and, and delivered about uh, 100 copies of, of, the, of that newspaper. When I was 12, I got my own route. And so he uh, continued his and I, and I started in a different direction. Uh, when I was 15, uh, I was fortunate enough to win an all-paid trip to the New York World's Fair. And I did that by selling the most copies of newspapers during, during that contest. So I got to, uh, of course, uh, go to New York for the first time ever. And, and uh, I remember staying in the Biltmore Hotel. Uh, we uh, went to a Yankees baseball game. I saw Roger Maris and Mickey Mantle hit home runs. And so uh, it's a big thing for a, a boy from the mountains. So I've actually, and I'm probably still guilty of working seven days a week, but I really worked seven days a week um, from probably age 16 until I was in my mid 20s. And uh, so while we were students, I, I uh, had a uh, workshop at school, worked uh, 15 hours a week. I managed as the assistant manager of the student center in the morning. When I was uh, a, a junior, uh, I started uh, working in a coal mine in Martin County. So my wife and I would drive back to Inez every weekend and I would work there uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then, then drive back to Moorhead. Uh, but uh, so that is how I ended up getting getting that experience to, to be able to start your own operation. And in my case, we were uh, we were contract miners for Island Creek Coal Company. So they they had the operation the mining operation was ready for us. So uh, I started with a business partner that. Uh, that had skills that I didn't, and that was really made us a great team. He, he was an electrician mechanic, and, and I was more involved in management. So, uh, so we immediately uh, uh, were able to, we had to hire a crew, and, and of course that was a big, big deal. You know, for a young guy, I was 25 years old. Uh, and uh, so, so we were able to get enough guys to start one shift. Early on, we saw success. We were um, we were able to um, to start generating revenue that uh, allowed us to uh, to uh, actually make a profit, but pay a lot of taxes. It was just uh, it was about all we could do to pay that high tax rate and survive. And uh, so I was borrowing money from next year's earnings. When I was 27 years old, I paid a million dollars in income tax and uh, didn't really have a lot of money, but, uh, but we, were, uh, uh, we were surviving and we sustained that uh, survival until Ronald Reagan became president and changed the tax code. And when he did, uh, it took me a little while to figure out how much better we were doing. You know, we, uh, uh, we were still working hard and doing all the things we'd always done and all of a sudden, wow, we had money in the bank. So, uh, so we, uh, we ended up uh, buying a, a new set of equipment and uh, we did that in 1984. And when we did, uh, all this, we didn't have to work at nights anymore. You know, we, the equipment was still running at the end of the day and it was just so, uh, but I'd already started diversifying before that and so it gave me more opportunity to, to continue to grow into the, to the other uh, retail side. I know you've heard this many, many times, but the harder you work, the luckier you get. Yeah, and so I just think that the fact that we always uh, 
put a lot of effort into, into anything we did uh, had more to do with his, his success than, than most things. There's a lot of you know, timing issues, there's a lot of things that sometimes you just manage to get into something at the right time and, and uh, you know I would really today it would be very difficult for somebody to start in the coal mining business like I did. You know, that, that opportunity would not be available. The thing, one of the things that really uh, still uh, sticks with me that, that was hard for me to do is, is uh, I had an operation uh, in uh, West Virginia that uh, was a coal mining operation that I had to close and uh, it, uh, it caused about 250 families to, to lose their jobs and, and, uh, and it, was, uh, it was a result of uh, the the environment that we're trying to operate in right now. It, 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 it uh, happened uh, in uh, 2012 and uh, so that was, um, that that's a really tough time for me. You know, when you, when you got to go look guys in the eye and say, we've, we've not been able to sustain your, your employment and we're going to have to have to tell you to go home and find another job, it's just tough to do that. You know, the mentorship is, uh, has had more success than, than, than any, any, uh, had any component, of, in my opinion, of, of being able to become an entrepreneur. The people that are willing to, uh, to share their success and share uh, failures are, uh, are uh, more of an asset to somebody than, than they would be if they just offered them money or if they were just you know, doing, doing something that would, uh, would create one opportunity. Uh, but the, uh, the role of a mentor is, uh, is to, be, uh, to be able to uh, share the good and the bad and to be able to, uh, to be there when you're needed. And, uh, and to not <clears throat> to not have um, too much of your own agenda. I think it's good to let to let the um, the, the person that you're trying to help um, um, let them make a mistake or two. And, uh, and that's one of the best learning tools I've ever had. Is I really have learned. If you don't learn from your mistakes, you'll, you'll make more. Uh, I really think that. Uh, there's probably never been a better time for an entrepreneur. Uh, there are so many things that, so many opportunities today that young people just need to to be uh, you know be bold, but don't be too aggressive with it. But but you got to be smart, play smart. Don't do don't do the things that. Uh, that you see people doing and, and failing. It's all about uh, creating employment for others. It's creating opportunities for others. Uh, I really uh, uh, think that by being, for me to be able to be successful, that it it it, uh, it will uh, trend into causing success for others as well. It, it's great to uh, to be able to. Uh, creating employment, and I feel good about uh, uh, you know, being being a substantial employer of the community that, that, that I live in. Uh, we uh, we pride ourselves in uh, in not uh, having to have a lot of layoffs and you know, disappoint families, but you know sometimes those things happen. But it's it's a uh, it, you know, I, I would think that you know, one of the one of the prideful things for me is the fact that I'm, I feel like I've been able to help a lot of people.